But I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big, I'm a big lover of music. I, just, I was wondering. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if he's got like Taylor Swift in his car? I do. Really? Yeah, I do. I do. I think it's important to listen to people who do great things. You know, so it's not just uh, genre specific, but it's like you know Taylor's been at the top of the game for a very, very long time. Yeah. How and why? You know, how does she write? How does she get into that mental space to be able to create things over and over and over? I mean, it's it's a lot of pressure for her to follow up a number one album with a better album yeah. then follow it with a better. Like, I don't care if you like her music or if you don't like her music. Look at what she's a, what she's doing. I mean, that's frightening yeah. stuff. I and mean, it's unbelievable to be able to pull that off over and over and over and over. And so I'll look at things like that to try to learn from them as much as I can. She's a shark, too. Like, you, you hear about her standing up to Spotify or all these. I mean, she Metallica did that in the early, when you and I were probably in, like, I don't know, college, high school. Yeah. But, like, uh, that's tough. For, you didn't think she would be like, no, I'm not going to do, I'm going to do it my way. And yeah, but see, like, from, from afar, like, I know she has to be that way. Mm -hmm. You know, she's, she's a sweet um, kid. I mean, she was a sweetheart to my girls before she even blew up and became Taylor Swift. So that's why, like, I always, if she needs anything from me, I'm always there. But you can't have that level of consistent success and not be a killer. It's impossible. That's great. It's, it's funny impossible. To, it's funny to think of Taylor Swift as a, kill, as a killer. Absolutely is. She totally is. 100%.